Hello and welcome to my African Village TV, your guide to the hidden treasures of Africa. Ibondio mane genti. Anya biagupwa with updates no basingeta. As the newly elected governor of Abia State, Dr. Alex Joma Oti has embarked on the ambitious journey to unlock the state's vast potential in propelling to new heights of development and prosperity. A series of groundbreaking mega projects, he aims to revitalize Abia's economy, infrastructure, and overall quality of life for its citizens. And today, we are talking about updates on the ABBA and Abia State mega project. Let us talk about my first highlight on this vlog. I have two highlights and I want you to stay tuned to it. And it is all about the Aba Geometric Power Plant, a game changer of reliable electricity for decades. The Aba Geometric Power Plant, a game changer for reliable electricity. And for Abians, on a historic day last Sunday, another turbine at the plant was switched on and the impact was immediate. Sections of ABBA were illuminated with a steady supply of electricity, a sight that residents had long yearned for. Take a listen to this video and we'll continue. Yeah, we were testing. I tested the turbine and run on a generator, but I got getting anywhere in the various feeders, nearly how much power so test now oh yeah we have gay work but yes we are giving power to umu the substation where polima area area abaye and this is are connected okay so that's the umu day you're talking about but you can see that's uh, the umu you're talking about the station there yeah. okay so there's light there now there's light there yeah. So, power is being released from the gas turbines to a ring fence area. But it has to be a step by step basis because large generators need to go through a process before they reach full load. You have to carry out several tests to make sure that all the parameters are working. We all know that the Abajometric Power Plant, a state-of-art facility, is a testament to Governor Oti's commitment to revitalizing the state's infrastructure and fostering economic growth. With the remaining turbines set to be operational in the coming weeks, the residents of Aba can look forward to a future where reliable electricity is no longer a luxury, but a reality and a necessity. In the buying. Let me touch on this one before I go to my second highlight. The Port Harcourt Aba Rail Line is fully ready. Ready, ready, ready. So the Port Harcourt Road Rail Line reconnecting Aba to the world class transportation has been a significant challenge for Aba, hampering the movement of goods and people. However, the activation of the Port Harcourt Aba Rail Line promises to revolutionize the city's connectivity, opening new avenues for economic development and regional integration. In a historic move, Governor Alex Joma Oti, in collaboration with the federal government, has overseen the reactivation of the long dormant rail line which might be fully operational by the end of this year. Additionally, the rail line will provide commuters with a convenient and environmentally friendly mode of transportation, reducing traffic congestion and promoting sustainable urban mobility. Now to my second highlight. Guys, you know that the core of every society, Bonde Karanka, no Mwaka. Yes, umuwai de kwa but on this particular highlight, I was so, so overwhelmed when I read this breaking news that Governor Oti himself had to release to the public. He says, we have cleared all pension arrears in Abia State. You know, people don't want us to talk good about this man. People don't want us to praise this man. Come on now. Do you know how long that this state 
in its entirety had wallowed not just in darkness, in diseases, and in sickness, in poverty. I don't know how to put it. I want you to watch this video where an old man who was a benefactor of this pension release had to bless and bless the governor and many, many others. We don't want to waste your time, so take a listen to this. Use this opportunity to thank our ever governor. The only governor who has done us well since 1991 when I retired. This is the only time I have enjoyed my retirement benefits. I thank you. You've done well. God bless you. All about you, God will bless you. Amen. Your kingdom will reign forever in Jesus' name. Amen. I praise you. You have done well. May the Almighty God help you to continue in Jesus' name. Amen. And I might have to make this the third highlight of this video. Ah, you heard me right. The former president, His Excellency Olusegun Obasanjo, and top economic team in Africa, visit Governor Alex Joma Oti to see things for themselves and presented the Governor of the Year. Are you listening to this? He was presented with the award of the Governor of the Year. My goodness, the only state in Nigeria history to have 47% rise in economy than Togo and Ghana economy put together. Hello. Guys, this is amazing. And moving on, moving on to the next mega project, the Abia Industrial Innovative Park. Recognizing the pivotal role of industrialization in driving economic growth, Dr. Alex Choma Oti has unveiled plans for the Abia Industrial Innovation Park, a state-of-art facility designed to attract local and international investments. The sprawling complex will serve as a hub for various industries, fostering innovation, job creation, and sustainable development. One of the key objectives of this project is to harness the entrepreneurial spirit of Abia's youth and provide them with an enabling environment to turn their innovative ideas into successful ventures. The park will offer incubation centers, mentorship programs, and access to funding opportunities, empowering young entrepreneurs to contribute to the state's economic growth. Additionally, the Abia Industrial Innovation Park will prioritize environmental sustainability by incorporating eco-friendly practices and promoting the use of renewable energy sources. This commitment to green initiatives align with with Dr. Oti's vision of building a resilient and sustainable future for Abia State. Okay, so we are wrapping up this video with the fourth mega project that is about to hit the ground, the Abia State Modular Refinery. In a bold move to address the state's energy needs and capitalize on its vast oil and gas resources, Dr. Alex Choma Oti has unveiled plans for the establishment of the Abia State Modular Refinery. This one in Dubai is huge. And let's continue to wrap up this video with the road construction and reconstruction and building. Recognizing the important role of infrastructure in facilitating economic growth, and improving the quality of life of Abins, Dr. Oti has prioritized the reconstruction and building of roads in Konya Obona Jianyanafu throughout Abia State. These ambitious initiatives aim to enhance connectivity, reduce transportation costs, and unlock new opportunities for trade and commerce. Guys, I'm wrapping up this video here. And you know that the under the visionary leadership of Dr. Alex Joma Oti, Abia State is poised for unprecedented growth and development. These mega projects panning across industrial development, energy security, sporting infrastructure, and transportation network reflect his unwavering commitment to transforming Abia into a thriving economic hub for Abians. Thank you all for watching and sticking to the end of this video. Until we see you guys in the next, keep the conversation going, keep praying for our governor, keep in fact Golo your former. This man is indeed a chioma to all of us. God bless you guys. Splendor. Ngozi. Bye for now.